Hi everybody, it's Lisa, Lisa's Crochet. I have some finished objects to share with you today. So let's get started. Okay, do you remember Sandy sent me um, this Brene scrub off and she made this beautiful uh, soap saber. I think that's what you call them. Anyway, so I wanted to make that. Well, I tried with this and I just need, well, first of all, I need to learn how to make a soap saver. So I thought, okay, because I went, I started with this. I went, no, just learn how to make a soap saver first. And then you can attempt trying this. And what I actually might do is work this with another cotton for my very beginning one. Okay. Okay. So I went to Jade and Stitches. And I made a soap saver sack and I made it out of Bernay Handcrafter cotton and it's called Fruit Punch Ombre. Da -da -da. So, look everybody, I made a soap saver. So, yes, it opened. Oh, maybe I tied it. No. Oh, I did tie it. <laughs> okay, so there it is, everybody. And you see, you see the little holy things there, and you put, and then you, then you put that through that. So I made that. Now, mistakes, because it's not a Lisa video without mistakes. So my mistake was I kept forgetting to chain one after the slip stitch to begin a new row. Well, I mean I started right, and then. Somewhere here, I, um, when you do a slip stitch to join the row, then you're supposed to chain one and then you start again. Well, I kept, I, somewhere through here, I, I didn't. But look, guys, it works. So there you go. Soap saver one. And then I went to Jonah Martin. Mar Martin, Martinez, Mar, Martinez, jo, Jonah Martinez. I'll put these in the description box. And she had an extra easy soap saver. And that is what I did here. Again, I'm using the Brene Handcrafter cotton. So there you all are, lucky, lucky. And it's got a little Oh, this one you you connected the two and there you go you pull it there so this one I mean it isn't beautiful or anything there's a lot of mistakes like what else? okay so mistake of course um, the 11th row I did a double crochet instead of a half double crochet um, I don't know where that is <laughs> I made notes to show my mistakes and now it's like, I don't see no mistakes. Anyway, did this. There you go. You turn this one inside out because you can see all my, yeah, see all, see all that mess. See all that mess there. But you turn it inside out and you go wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Forgotten. So that was soap saver number two, Brene Handcrafter Cotton, I think it's called Hot Pink. Then I went and found another one by Helen May Crochet, and, okay, that's when, remember the video I got excited that I learned a new stitch called the Puff Stitch? Well, so I really liked it, I really enjoyed it. As you see, I'm not finished it. And why? Not finished it because she's a very good teacher, okay? But she lost me at 22.49 of the video where I'm supposed to be, because this, this was all like a straight down thing, right? And then you have to take your work and fold it and then you do stuff here. She lost me there. So this is not done. And actually what I think I'm just gonna do then, now I'm just gonna 
I'm just going to whip stitch the whole thing closed or I don't know. But I, I really liked, I really enjoyed learning the puff stitch. So thank you, Helen May Crochet. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to go back because maybe, maybe it was just, maybe I just over crocheted that day or I don't know. I have to go back. No, I forgot. But anyway, there you go. So then, oh yeah, so I guess that's not a finished object, is it? Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So then I got into making, remember I was on my kick before, remember I had said, I said, in some other video I've said, I, I was like going off about granny squares and ew, I don't like granny squares and blah, blah, blah. And then I made a video where I made all those pink and gray granny squares and I got hooked on making granny squares. Well, I got hooked on granny squares again. So, I'm sure you can see it here already, can't you? So, I went to Jaden Stitches and she had a, well actually it was in my, because I've got a whole bunch of um, liked videos that I want to get, get to and crochet. So I'm scrolling through my liked videos and I went, oh yeah, I wanted to make this one. So, I made a heart, guys. Look. Look, guys. Well, I know. I need work, okay? I need, I need work. But anyway, this is Jaden Stitch's Heart Granny Square. And I like it. There you go. Yeah, that's... Well, I guess if I just kind of pull it. Well, anyway... I don't like this, uh, I don't like this material, uh, yarn I use, though. It's yucky, it's scratchy, and blech. So, a good one to learn on. There you go. And then, so I finished that, and then I went, well, I want to make, oh, then, underneath that light thing, then I saw, I had liked, um, Creative Grandma. And it was called Stitch of the Week number 91, Mosaic Granny Square Tutorial. And guys, oh my god, my new addiction, I'm addicted. Okay, so I made, which one did I make first? Doesn't matter. She used a 5.5 millimeter hook. I don't have one. Like, I'm looking through all my hooks. Remember everybody, I showed you the video where I bought these. So it's a 3.5, 3.75, 4.25, 3 a 5, a 5.25, and a 5.75. No 5.50 millimeter hook. And then, like when I first started, I have the all these um, like dollars. No, where do you get these? Walmart or something? These are these really. I don't like them now because these. Oh, I'm gliding away, all fancy like. These plastic things stick. And, yeah, see, that's a 6.5. I don't have a 5.50. Yeah, and then, anyway, I don't have one. I don't have one. Oh, and then, yeah, I remember, speaking of, um, yeah, so I've got all these. Like, hooks from the dollar store. But I don't understand what they are. Oh, wait, maybe this one's... There is no... Okay. This one, you got a hook over here and you got a hook over here. And this one says 3 slash 0. And then over here it says 7 slash 0. I'm sorry, but there's no way this is a 7 millimeter hook. So what, what do these numbers mean? What do these numbers mean? There's no way that's a seven. If this, if this is a 6.50, how is this? I don't get there. Am I reading these wrong? I'll have to take a picture and show you guys. Like, this one says four and on the other side, four slash zero, and this one says eight slash zero. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, now that I made a mess all over my table, and this is a makeup bag. <laughs>
stores all my stuff. Besides all over the tables and all over the floors. Right, honey lover? Mm-hmm. Okay, so anyway, I haven't showed you. Okay, so. Stitch of the week number 91. Thank you very much, creative grandma. Oh, I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her. She's, she, like, she's a, uh, she's very good at teaching. I know I love my love, 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 who I learned from my, um, bag of day crochet. Always will. But this creative grandma, I tell you, she, t she walks you through everything and her voice is very calm and nice. It's nice to listen to. Can you make sure I'm still recording, please? I wonder if the battery died. Um, but as I'm, okay, thanks. Um, as a matter of fact, it was funny. I'm crocheting. I'm crocheting this morning and Steven's on the other couch there. He's laying down and he's watching some, something on TV, right? But he always mutes it. Like, oh yeah, he's watching The Price is Right or something. So he had it on mute because he knows I have to listen to my tutorials. And that kind of him. He's so sweet. And uh, yeah, he knows all you guys by name. <laughs> but anyway, so I look over at him and he's like falling asleep. And, and I laughed and I'm like, I'm saying like a lot, aren't I? Mm hmm Oh my goodness. So anyway, um, I laughed at him because it's like, um, creative grandma was putting him to sleep. Like it's, her voice is stuff like, you know, reading a story time with, you know what I mean? Like you could just, do you know what I'm trying to say? Her voice is very soothing and nice and you could actually turn her on and cause she was saying, um, oh, what was she saying? Like chip, you know, whatever crochet chain to this. So instead of counting sheep, you're like, I'm looking at him like he's falling asleep too. Chain two, skip one. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've been there, okay. So you guys don't care about that. You you care about what I made. So here it is. <clears throat> it's the mosaic granny square. Isn't that cool, guys? So you see how, you see these things here? You see them? But, look it. Sorry, but this is very, very cool. So I made this one in the white, the, I used the uh, Caron Simply Soft. And there you go, one. Oh, that's what I sewed in on my hand, so isn't that fancy? And here's another one. And then, I, oh yeah, then I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this and I'm just gonna keep going and keep going and keep going. And I'm gonna make a blanket. You know, like some kind of blanket out of it. So, <laughs> so I look through my bag, like all my yarn is in bag over here, bag over there, bag over there. So I pull out this, and I have two of these. This is Karen Simply Soft and, I don't know, Tweed or something. <laughs> and I'm pulling it out of the bag, and I'm going, what, what's stuck? What's stuck? It must be stuck on another ball of yarn. This. Okay, guys. Help a girl out. Help a girl out. What was I making? What is this? What was I making, guys? What in the world? I'm wondering if I was making another... Well, no, I wouldn't have made it out of Karen Simply Soft, though. I'm think. Excuse me, I'm thinking uh, that chicken pod holder, but no. Maybe I was... Was I making a hat? I don't know what I was making. Anyway. I don't want, I was going to cut it off and just use it anyway, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to find one, a piece of paper somewhere, and I'm going to know what that is, because I'm learning everybody, see how I have, well, I haven't labeled this one, but I'm learning from all these videos that you take a Ziploc bag, and you put your stuff in it, and then you write a note to yourself, like, or you write it here, 
and you write out to yourself what it is, what hook size you were using, and if you have the, the band, you know, you put it in there, la 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 la. But, um, I don't know what that was. I did it for that. Okay, so, oh, yeah. so then, of course, mistake. Ugh. Okay, so I'm making another one, okay? Now, what do I do? Well, I'll show you. I'll show you because, well, no, I'll show you here. I'll show you somewhere. Oh, well, I'll get back to my mistake. So, now I have... I'm all over the map here, aren't I, guys? I have Karen Simply Soft in the colorway. That's not it. Something. Like a dark teal, maybe? Is that what it's called? Wrong color band. And white. Ta da And I am... Here we go, guys, because I think these two colors are beautiful. So I'm making this one, and I'm going to keep going and going and going with this one. So I'm going to go my white, then my dark teal, then white. So I'm going to do two rows, two rows, and now I'm ready to change back to white for two rows, and then I'll blah, 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 blah. But look, guys. Look. That is beautiful, if I do not say so myself. And yeah, and see, look, I think I'm doing a very good job at making sure, um, you know, when you pull your loop, your loops up, that you pull them up like a f a bit, so that it's it doesn't pull down tight like that. So I'm very excited. I think I'm going to make this into a nice little blankety thing. Or you could make it into a pillowcase, or you could make it in... Oh, there's just so many things you can do. Thank you, creative grandma. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, but where was I going with that? Oh yeah, so my mistake. So, you know, you have your... Okay, you have all your ends, right? So, dumb and dumb. I'm sewing in all my ends. And for some reason on this one, what do I do? I snipped off the beginning. I didn't, I didn't, um, sew it in. And I, and, because uh, I'd sewn in that one, I'd sewn in that one, and snipped and snipped. And then I went, oh, did I forget to snip that one? And as soon as my scissors hit, like the instant they hit, I was like in my brain going, no, you idiot, no. Yep, I snipped her. So, there goes this beautiful square. Maybe I can just duct tape it and nobody will know the difference. <laughs> duct tape and Lisa go hand in hand. Oh, I'm, it was, I'm so sad because look at it, guys. Look at it, look at it, look. Ow! Oh, I just hit my knee. The cameraman's not here. But, you see what I did? You see what I did? I cut it. Oh, so mad. So I guess that's my big story of the day. Let me look. I will link all these in my description box below. So wish me luck with my half in or blanket or what, however big I can get with this or till I find something else I want to make, which I have about 100,000 million, and every time I watch somebody else's video, I say I want to make that, 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 and it goes on my list, my list is on my own, my own one. Okay, so is this video, is that all I wanted to talk about? I believe so. So, thank you all very much, and we'll catch you later, bye.